APS conference on cardiovascular aging is really focusing on the physiology of aging, but just the cardiovascular system. The population in this country and the rest of the world is aging, and when you're aging, you would like to do healthy aging. So we need to understand the basic physiological and cellular mechanisms that contribute to this. One of the things I think we want to understand and better explore with these meetings are some of the sort of underlying mechanisms which lead to macro mechanistic processes like inflammation and oxidative stress, which affect the function of the cardiovascular system. Some of the questions that need to be answered are how the cardiovascular system ages in a person who's healthy compared to how the cardiovascular system changes in someone who maybe has underlying disease. This will bring together a lot of real experts in the area of both the cardiovascular system, whether it be the heart, blood vessels, different organs, and people who are really primarily interested in aging. We have people from the exercise physiology field, we have people who study basic cellular mechanisms, and we have people who study basic vascular physiology. And all of those are clearly related, but they usually attend different meetings or go to large meetings. A smaller conference like this is outstanding for young investigators to come to. If your lab or your research interest lies anywhere in pathways that are relevant to aging, this is going to be a great conference for you. The the other nice thing about this conference is it's going to be located in sunny Colorado in the summer. So not only is it going to be nice to attend for the science that's happening, but it's also in a really nice location. We place a lot of time and effort into organizing a meeting which is scientifically robust. Most of the people are NIH funded. These are the leaders in the field and if you want to be informed on this topic, it's where you should be. Mm -hmm.